submit. <sighs> hey guys, I just purchased my 2019 Fairhaven Baptist College yearbook. Have you gotten yours yet? Uh, no. <laughs> That's like a waste of money. Actually, it's not a waste of money because it's only $32 for a hardcover and $26 for a softcover. Wow! What a deal! <sighs> Sign me up. Uh, can I get a hard no, no, not a hardcover. Make the three hardcovers because I'm probably going to lose one and then the dog's going to trash one and then the other one, who knows, somebody's going to sign it I don't like it. And then two softcovers too because those are cheaper and like if I lose those, it's not a big deal. So yeah, three hardcovers and two softcovers. Actually, this year's yearbook is durable enough to last a lifetime of responsible use. All you have to do is follow the link below to get your very own yearbook. And for a limited time, you can get one for $32. Yeah, yeah. Camera. I mean, right here. Yeah. Yeah. So what's going to happen if I don't buy one of these yearbook thingies? You do not want to know. But I can just tell you this, that in years from now, you're going to be thinking, I should have bought a yearbook. Yeah, right. Don't make his mistake. Just follow the link below. Yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. You're just going to waste a lot of money on buying one of these yearbooks that just has a bunch of pictures that you're never going to look at in the future. Uh, miss, how much was that again? For a limited time offer, you can get your own yearbook for $32 if you follow the link below. Wow. The link below. Got it. I'm on it. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and waste your money. Well, I'm not going to be the one in several years saying, should have bought a yearbook. Should have bought a yearbook. I ain't never going to say that. All right, I logged in, entered my email, and password's in. Done. What do you mean, incorrect password? <laughs> it's to me every time. Let's see. Forgot password. Uh, enter email and security question. What's the, uh, what security question is? What was the name of your freshman etiquette teacher? I was supposed to remember that. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's say I remember. Like Mr. Schreiber. And nope. Oh, Dr. Mitchell. Uh, Dr. Mitchell. Enter. Oh. Let's put that to my Twitter. Was it probably Pastor Armacost? Pastor Armacost? It's <laughs> not Pastor Armacost either! It appears that you have answered incorrectly too many times. Your account will now be locked down and all files will be wiped for your own protection. I should have bought a yearbook. What was the name of your freshman etiquette teacher? Wait, what in the world? I wasn't even in that class. I've been hacked! Okay, well, how would I ever remember that? Um, had it been a, oh, oh, I know. Ah, let's see if I had that yearbook in here somewhere. Um, no. Oh! Ah. That ain't the yearbook. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay, so, here we go. Okay, got it. And... Faculty page. Oh, Mrs. Goss, that's right. Okay. Here we go, Mrs. Goss. Whew. Glad I had that. Buying this yearbook, best decision of my life. Welcome back. Top news today begins with the story of a young lady who recently inherited billions of dollars. With her new gained wealth, she has decided to reach out to all of her classmates from school and give each one of them a million dollars. We go now to Cassidy, who is at the home of this benevolent donor. Thanks, Austin. As you can see, I am standing on the front lawn of this outstanding figure of generosity. She has called for a press conference and will she will reveal exactly how one can receive this million dollars. She has had an, an outstanding amount of people who have been claiming to go to school with her, and she says that she's never seen before. And here I am now with Miss Collins. Oh, you can just call me Juliana. And yes, how generous of me, I know. I mean, you could flatter me all day and it would not affect my humility in, this, in the slightest. 
because not only have I been told that I am the wealthiest person to ever live, I am also the most humble. Undoubtedly, ma'am, you are the most humble person to have ever existed on the planet. But we have millions of viewers who are wondering, just how are you going to clear up the question of who you went to school with? Well, I'm glad you asked, because it took an act of pure genius on my part, which I must say, I am a genius. For all of you who would like a million dollars, it's so simple. All you have to do is present the yearbook which undoubtedly has my signature in it because I was obviously the most popular girl to ever go to this college to me at this address and I will present you with one million dollars and for all of you cheap souls who never purchased a yearbook I have four words for you should have bought a yearbook well, you've heard it here, folks, in the words of this most humble billionaire. I mean, you're not wrong. Should have bought a yearbook. Back to you, Austin. Well, there you have it, folks, the top story of the day. All I can say is, if you're one of those lucky students with a yearbook, you better dig it out of storage and claim your million dollars. For all of those that did not buy a yearbook that year, I bet you're telling yourselves right now, I should have bought a yearbook. My, what? A million dollars? I know her! I have a yearbook! I'm a millionaire! Woo! What? Ugh. I should have bought a yearbook. I could be a millionaire now. Ha! <laughs> oh, I've got it. Alright, uh, yeah, we got time. Woo! Million dollars, here we come. <sighs> Yeah, never would have thought this book would have made me a million bucks. <laughs> Oops. Slow down! Quit speeding on church property. Speed limit is 10. Unbelievable. Well, today's been a great day. I mean, I am so glad I bought that yearbook. I remember a friend in college, you know, he wasn't, never ended up buying a yearbook. And I wonder how life's going for him, you know? I just haven't, haven't been in contact with him for a while. And, you know, I just kind of wonder what happened to your friends. And speaking of, Caleb? Ha, what kind of trick are you up to now? C Caleb? Hey, hey buddy, what's up? Are you okay? Come on, come on. Sit up, sit up, sit up. What's up? What's wrong? What happened? I should have bought a earbud. Stay with me, buddy. No, no, stay with me. <laughs> well, folks, don't let this be you. Don't let your dying breath be should have bought a yearbook. 